Hi guys, Soda Red here, Mechanic Gamers, and today this is I'm going to be doing a money making guide. So first of all, we've got the uh, mature grot worms. They drop oh, rune helms and rune long swords, adamant ore and rune ore very frequently. Actually, so yeah, I've been here what about ten minutes now, and that's my drop so far. They're weak to bolt, so I'm but I'm using a crystal bow and people you can use anything you want. And they drop coins and when they drop the coins they drop in five K, so that's easy five K anyway. Normally you don't pick up the bones but Um the bones, the coins I do though, because it's quite good. So yeah, I'm using the crystal bow. Um we've got someone over here I think using oh no they've gone now, they were using melee. But which is fine. Um, mage doesn't work too well on them, and they do hit with mage, so bring prayer pots. They hit quite high. But I didn't. They drop Serodom and Bruise as well, but I don't pick those ones up. So yeah, we'll just kill a few of these. And yeah, to get to them, basically you just teleport to pots for him and run northwest, and you'll see the dungeon there. There's a familiar charging obelisk thingy, whatever you want to call it. And they drop adamant square shields and adamant chain bodies and stuff that you can pick up, but I don't just because frankly I can't be bothered. They drop two shark every now and then as well, so you can don't need too much food. So yeah, so I'll just eat the food left. There we go, prime example. So you can pick up the shark, eat one, and you've still got your reserves of food. Just kill one more and see if I get a rune drop. But you're getting quite up frequently. So there's a guy over there using a god sword of some type on the same guy I'm on. Cheeky bug, eh? Did I get the kill? No. Oh, I did. Oh, they drop real dehyde every now and then, which is worth 7k. Uh, we'll just kill this. Keep going till we get a rune drop. They drop 50 bloods, I th believe. But they can drop up more. Noted out of your and rune ore. Runeite ore, if you're. So, yeah. They're quite easy to kill. I'm not using any range. I've got 87 range, I believe. Yeah, 87 range, and they're pretty easy to kill. So, I thought they dropped the Sardon Brew quite frequently. Blue Dragons, really. Um, pretty simple, most people know how to do it, but they are good money. Especially if you can't kill them, you can go pick the scales up. So you want to teleport to the Trafali Lodestone up here, run down to the bank, and come across, straight across to this dungeon here. Um, you will need a dusty key, which I haven't got with me, because I'm going to show you where to get it from, if you haven't got it. So, if you have 70 agility, squeeze through this hole here, and it's just through there. As you can see, it's quite a busy one. So, but if you haven't got a key, you want to run down here. So, you want to run north until you get to these metal gates. You want to go through them. Them. If you don't go through the gates, it just run you around a longer way, it's fine. And click there. And that's basically the entrance to the dragons. So you want to run up here. So that's going to run you right to here, because you can't actually get through there, even though it looks like it. So just run down here. And you get to here and you think, oh damn, I forgot my dusty key. Easily done. What you'll need is, well, you can use range, a melee, magic, what if, uh, I think their weakness is bolts, so that. Normally you'd go this way, but if you thought you've got any dusty key, just run down here to the Black Knight Fortress. Also, if you carry a spirit, terror bird, a water, anything that carries items, a beast of burden, you can, um, get more 
So if you're high combat level, you can do the kills, get the bones and the hides. And if you're low level, you just pick up the blue scales. So you want to kill this jailer here. Okay, and it should drop a dusty key. Oh, a jail key, sorry. Put the jail key up. You click on this here. This gate here. You have to use the key on the gate. Go in and you want to talk to this. Don't ask for do I get a reward. You've got to ask for so do you know any good place good to explore. Go through the chat. Bam, the space bar. Yes, please. Space bar. He give you a pass key so you just exit. You can now drop the jail key and you've got your dusty key. So you just run all the way back. Just keep running. Items your best mage gear. Um, can this isn't my abyssal mm -hmm. whip? I normally use stuff for like obviously dragons, so you need the anti dragon fire shield or a just a normal dragon fire shield. So as you can see, got me a rims, top and bottom, Garadormic hat, glove, well, visor, gloves and boots, and that's the arcane necklace from Dungeoneering. You could use a fury or just a magic amulet, a magic, just to give you the best boost, and a skill cape, or there's a Saradomin cape you can get for free after doing, I think you might have to do the magic. Um, guild or something upstairs in the magic guild. Can't remember having had it. Uses it, which gives a bigger boost than this. So you want to use, click the key, and you want to do it on here. So I don't advise killing the baby dragons, but picking up the scales because you just run around, take some food just in case they do attack you. But if you're high enough level, they won't. This is just an easy one. And price check these. See that they're 1.9k each. Or you can go for killing the dragons, which drop a lot, drop the bones. So yeah, just kill a few. Or even if you're high level, these would work. It's easier to pick up these. There's loads. So you want to take your dragon hide and your dragon bones. So. One kill gives you approximately 9k. So if you get what, 28, 14 for a beast burden, 14, we get about 140, 150, 60k a trip. If you've got high enough engineering, mm -hmm. um, you want to teleport, use this, because there's never no ever in here. Just run down here. And you see all these scales down here. You can kill them here, but there's loads of scales all the way around here, so you just go round and round, picking them up. See, there's no one in here. There's a guy who has got a little 12 spaces, so. You can then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus your 12, so that's easy 23. If you came with no food, you could get up to 30 thingies, and then you can just sit down. Teleport back to Trevally or Teverly, however you say it. You're gonna see it be even quicker, obviously you just don't have to run all the way around. That's 44k. And that took me five minutes, so 44 times 30 is 1.2 mil an hour from that method. Hey guys, and now we've got um <coughs> dragon Still dragons, um, need a slightly higher combat level to kill these, but if you've got anti-fire pots and an anti-fire shield or dragon fire shield, they will not hit on you. So they good to, they drop a lot of blood runes. They also drop is my thingy creature over there, my There he is, Spirit Terror Bird. He's carrying they drop a lot of rune limbs, a lot of rune things you could pick up. I don't pick up personally the rune knives, the javelins or anything. They drop a lot. They drop steel bars that you can always take into thing if you want to profit eyes, but I leave them on the floor because they're not noted. So they're a bit annoying. So you don't need anything 
really fancy. He can uh, range these, melee them, but I choose to mage them just because their weakness is water and I'm trying to train magic up as well as range, as you saw in the last clip. So yeah, they die quite easily. Good XP, they're 976 XP I believe it is. Find out. 970 XP. So, that's good. You see bloods there. They drop 20 at a time. And yeah, so I have 5,000 of these. Plus I've been using these. If you use your special abilities, they don't use your runes or arrows up. So yeah. Um, the abyssal wand isn't mine, I'm borrowing that, so you don't have to have that, it's just, I was going to use my ma a master wand, and yeah, you don't really need defense either, because, you see I'm getting strength out, that's just because my terror bird's hitting on them, their bite does hurt though, but, so if you haven't got much defense it might hit quite high, but you can melees, range them, whatever good drops, I will show you after this kill what they can drop. They can drop dragon legs and dragon, well dragon plate legs and dragon plate skirts, dragon helms and also effigies. And they also drop, so as you can see they drop a lot of rune limbs, they drop two half keys, Rune bars, rune hounds, rune maces, and loads of other stuff that I just don't pick up, like the dragon bones and stuff. Just because I've got the drinking anti fires that you don't need food for. This is good. I'd recommend the best mage gear you can have for the best bonuses, so Seer's Ring, Ceridom and Cape, and that, whatever really you can afford. Okay, now we're at Avis. I don't know how to say these. Uh, Avinizi. And um, they are good because they drop noted Addy bars, as you can see, limbs and quite a few. I haven't eaten that food, it's just in my spirit terror bird, just because I bought too much. Because when I came here last time, I got owned, but that's because. What you will need though, is I recommend a Zamorak item. So I just take a, what am I looking? A Zami arrow, an armadillo helmet, unless you want them to pile you, which... They don't hit very high, as you can see. 24s and stuff. And a bandos item. So I just got bandos boots on. But you could just take, I don't know, anything really. So they drop grimy avatars and stuff. Really easy to kill. S and also you can pikey him off of these kills. So you'll see him be. Oh, he's not got attack. You can pike pikey him off the Samurokian kills and the bandos kills. But yeah, they're really easy to kill. Uh, range and mage, because you can't attack them with swords, because they're too. You'll get a message saying they're flying too high. There is some requirements. I will put them on the screen. They should be coming up in your top left over this way somewhere. About nowish. So yeah, um, good money drops. Addy bars, which are at about 4k each at the moment. For new there, yeah, I only have it because they were dropping quite. Oh, also you can bring some high ulch things if you want to ulch the silver ore and stuff for uh, extra GP. But yeah, uh, my defense is 85. I recommend 80 defense and 80 range, but I suppose you can get away with 70. Just bring a better bow or bolts because their weakness is crossbows. Um, I've killed 115 as you can see and I've got 108 bars because they drop in fours and I've just taken my right. yeah so they do drop quite high you can use this as it and they're low levels as well so what I can you can also do is if you fight the four multi shot you might get away with there you go so you got three on you now just to prove they don't hit too high I will tank them. So to get here, you go to the God Wars dungeons, which you teleport to Trellholm, 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 using the normal spell book. You then can run down the thingies, and when you get to like a little V, you run right, not left. If you're on left, I don't know where you go. But if you're on right, you'll then come to a white thing, and you have to squeeze through. 
I know you need strength or agility to get in here. I can't remember it, so yeah, they'd be on your screen, like I said earlier. What one's attacking me? This one over here. So, yeah. Good money, good range XP. You get, what, 600 range XP? 673? I don't know why I'm getting a bonus. Oh, because I'm clan avatars out. Add a BY. Then you can just use your thingy to heal a little bit. You'll regenerate and go again. And they drop quite well. Um, I think I worked it out. It's about 1 in 10 they drop an Addy Bar. Hey guys, this is the fifth and final method in this money making guide, combat money making guide. And it's going to be exiled Cafetites. So you want to teleport to the bandit camp, lodestone, and you want to run south past the dragon treasure thing. You will not need any water pouches, don't worry. So this is the ancient thingy from the desert treasure quest. So you run past that, keep going, and when you get to about here, you should see it in the corner of your screen up here. You want to run east. So past all the uh, jackals. And you want to go down here, you shouldn't need a rope. And this is the Cafodite entrance, this is Exile Cafodites. So there's two methods down here really. So there's also a summoning thing which is quite good, so you can just in your summoning. There is a safe spot if you don't want to get hit here, as you'll see. So this is an Cafodite Guardian which you can kill. These drop runes, and I need to set a spell a second, and they are um, aggressive. So set the, here's a safe spot as you see they're not hitting me. So these drop, yeah, like I said, a lot of thingies. They do poison, but they don't hit that hard for poison. So if you wanted to bring an anti-poison, you can do. But I don't choose to, just because they don't hit enough, really, to do a lot of damage. And when you kill them, oh, these drop, as I say, rune dragon, you want to pick up damage chitons, or chitons, however you say it. All right, then, worth, if I price check at the moment, they are worth, you can't trade them at the moment. This is... On this, the higher your summoning level, the better. So if I just come in here, kill this, steal this kill. Uh, we'll come in here. These ones are aggressive, okay? So these ones will hurt you um, a lot more if they hit with mage. So if she's soul splitting, you see. So and these drop um, a lot of rune most of the time. Harder to kill, so I do recommend because the money making method's really in these. Doing it going now. Did it come through? I bet it didn't come through. No, it was just doing vid going now. So you say, yeah, see that I've been still here for a while. Ray, are you serious? Just doing vid go win now. There we go. Third time lucky. So yeah, just kill these. So you wanna their weakness is water spells. Like again, they're not very high, you can probably use melee. Oh, on those ones range I recommend not mage. And on these I would recommend mage. They're good XP really, and they're definitely good Slayer XP if you need Slayer. So they drop, and they drop a lot of blue charms. So if you have a Charm Imp, that'd be good. So just take the damage Chitin. Oh yeah, as you see, I just spam the uh, spam of that. So once you're past here, you are safe. So you want to teleport to. Oh, I got my. I really got the reach to tap. Um. Just go to the Varrock home teleport. This is where your smithing comes in. Obviously on a Slayer task this is a better money making because you need to kill them. Protect them all. But, and they make a lot of money. So I just want to run to the nearest smithing anvil. So it's just for rocks because there's one near the bank. So 
be really easy to kill. So I've got four of these. And your high, my swifting level is 70. So the highest swifting level the my old money you can make. So you just use them on. And they turn it into tuition scrap. So I get 26. So if I price check that. So four of them have turned into 22k. So if you think you can collect them with 12. Take fruit, your runes or yeah, whatever you're using. Three arrows. Don't pick up other runes. You're looking at about... Well, you can get about, 30, uh, I'd say 25 of these a trip, and the trips take about 10 to 15 minutes. And then you just come to the Grand Exchange and, oh, sell them. There you goes, guys. I hope this combat situation, this combat, when I say combat money-making guide, it's more of what I do to make my money. It's You don't have to follow it, obviously. Use your own way to find your thingies. And I hope you found it interesting. If you'd like more um, skinning, money making, or anything really, just let me know in the comments or on Skype or Twitter, whatever you think. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.